Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost, and this is a tag video. I was asked by Jamie Powell. Go and check his channel out. Great YouTuber. It puts a lot more effort in his videos than I do. Does a bit of everything. But anyway, uh, the tag was to pick a favourite film from each of your letters in your collection, or not in your collection, so like A's, Alien, B, Back to the Future. But when it comes to T, you don't have to put the word the. Uh, like, for example, I've got the in the title here, but it's under the A's. Else, most films would begin with T. So um, my films change from time to time. I know my sort of favourites, they change depending on the mood I'm in. I do often get asked what's my favourite film in the collection and I don't usually have one because it changes. Uh, but these were, at the time of being asked, my favourites. The American President. This is an amazing political film. I do like American political films. Rob Reiner directed it and produced it and it was written by the brilliant Aaron Sorkin who went on and did like The West Wing. I think this had a bit of an influence on it because you've got uh, Martin Sheen, who was the president in the West Wing. He's the chief of staff in this one. You've got just a, an amazing cast, and it's just it's a beautiful film. That is The American President. I will crack on because there are 26 titles, obviously. Next one is The Bone Collector. I love this film. This is Denzel Washington, Angelina Jolie, not in her first role, but one of her first, and it's um, a hunt for a serial killer. And you've got a great cast. And this. You've got Queen Latifah, Michael Walker, who's in... Well, loads of things. He's in Cliffhanger, uh, Walking Dead. Uh, you have Ed O'Neill in this. It's just a great. But I know once you've seen and you know who the killer is, then like it sort of loses it on repeated viewings. But I love it. I just love the style of it. Next one up is City Slickers. This is a brilliant film. Billy Crystal, Daniel Stern, Bruno Kirby, Jack Plants. Why isn't Daniel Stern on that cover? Uh, and the sequel needs to get a release as well. Um, you've got these guys that live in the city and they want a bit of, um, well it's, uh, it's Billy Crystal's birthday and uh, his friends get together and send him on like, uh, with them as well, send him on like a cattle driving experience. And you've got Jack Plant says the old cowboy heading up the, uh, heading up the, the cattle driving and it's just, it's, you go for all the emotions with this, it's just brilliant, absolutely love it. And you've got uh, Helen Slater in this as well. For the D's, I picked Deep Impact. Now this is unusual. Now, in Hollywood, they release kind of like similar films, like in twos, like Dante's Peak, um, Volcano, things like that. And this one came out around about the same time as Armageddon, similar stories, comet hits the earth, uh, everybody's wiped out. This one was played a little bit more serious and I really enjoyed that. It's You've got a great cast, this. you've got um, Elijah Wood, you have Morgan Freeman, um, you've got Robert Duvall, Tia Leone, just a great cast and they do, and they, they play it straight, it's not any comedy elements to it, it's a real good sci-fi apocalyptic film, very good. Next one up, uh, Erin Brockovich, now you know I did think of films like, oh make me look intelligent, uh, like uh, Elephant Man and, and things like this but I love this film, uh, Julia Roberts as Aaron Brockovich, and Aaron Brockovich, oddly enough, appears in the film as well. You've got Aaron Eckhart, who's kind of one of his first roles because he's not really in it that much. Albert Finney, and it's it's basically um, an under, it's like an underdog story of a, a young woman who works for a law firm taking on a big corporate um, company in America because they are poisoning the water supply of a local town. And it's based on a true story. Amazing. The next one up is one of the best films ever made. It's Field of Dreams, written and directed by Phil um, Alden Robinson, and it stars James Earl Jones, Ray Liotta, Burt Lancaster, and Kevin Costner. You've got Amy Madigan in business as well. It's a story of hope and, and adventure and just, just emotion cannot fault this film at all. It's just beautifully shot. The music and this will make you weep like a baby no matter how many times you watch it. It's perfection. Next one up is another film which is perfection. It is The Goodbye Girl. The dialogue in this is amazing. It's written by Neil Simon. Uh, stars a young girl called Quinn Cummins and it also stars Rich Dreyfus and Marsha Mason. It's about a, um, an out-of-work actor that gets sublet her apartment. She doesn't know this. He turns up in the middle of the night. Uh, she's there with her daughter. They have to get on, they have to share the apartment and uh, they hate each other at first. But they come, they come to learn to live with each other and it's just their relationship that is a, and it's a, a story of an arc, arc of a relationship and it's just brilliant. Recommend that one. Next one is a story of loyalty and it's Hatchie, A Dog's Tale. Now this 
if you've ever owned a dog, I've owned dogs my entire life, but if you've ever owned a dog or own a dog currently, this is the film for you. It will make you ball like a baby. It's one of, if not the best Richard Gere, uh, Joan Allen stars in this one, but one of the best Richard Gere films ever made. It's just about the relation of um, the relationship between a man and his dog, and it goes beyond that. It's just, it's just amazing. You have to watch this one. The next one for the eyes is The Imitation Game, starring Benedict Cumberbatch as Alan Turing and Kira Knightley. Uh, just amazing. It's about Alan Turing being recruited by the government to crack the Enigma code, uh, the unbreakable code that the Germans were using to communicate to each other, and uh, confounded everybody. They could not crack this code until Alan Turing came along, built basically a computer, which actually still operates today, and nobody knows how he did it even to this day it's just it's an amazing story it's a great biopic cannot recommend this one enough next one up is jerry Maguire for the jays tom cruise one of tom cruise's best films to date and it's about a sports agent that grows a conscience and uh he wants to focus all his time and energy on uh, sort of reducing his client list and paying more attention to individuals and uh, ramifications of uh, a memo that he sends out to his company recommending that and it's a great um you also got like a, a a separate story arc of a relationship between him and dorothy boyd played by Renny zellweger and um she's a single parent with a son played by jonathan limpnicki i believe um great film and it's written by cameron crow who's a great writer as well the next film under the k's is the king's speech um Filmed by Tom Hooper, it stars Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush is treating the king, the current king during World War II, for a speech impediment. And um, it's about their relationship and uh, the king's relationship with the public as well at the same time. It's beautifully shot. The um, the, the tone, the colours, it's just, just an amazing movie. It's, um, well, it won four Academy Awards and seven BAFTAs, so you can't go wrong with that brilliant film the next one with the L's is Lincoln and I said earlier that I liked American political films this is absolutely amazing the cast in this film alone you've got Sally Fields David Strathain I think that's how you say it Joseph Gordon-Levitt James Spader Hal Holbrook Tommy Lee Jones it's just um, obviously you've got uh, Daniel Day-Lewis as Lincoln it's just um, it's an amazing uh, John Williams did the, the music for this this written to perfection is acted to perfection uh the cinematography is off the scale it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful and this uh, um, currently is my favorite film of all time lincoln so we've gone from lincoln with the l's and we're now headed towards the m's with the muppets christmas cow now i could have picked off the christmas cow in the c's and i could pick out scrooges with the s but now i've gone for the m's the Muppets Christmas Cow. Obviously, you've got Kermit. Good old Kermit. You've got little uh, Kermit's son there. It's Tiny Tim. Kermit is Cratchit. Um, you've got Gonzo who narrates it. It's really good. He plays Charles Dickens. You've got um, Michael Caine as Ebenezer Scrooge. He plays it straight. It's just, it's a beautiful film. It's, the songs in it are really catchy. The, the characters are lovable. The story is flawless, as I'm a, a big fan of the the story and there it's is one song that has been cut from this which is quite annoying they could have put it in the extras um a love that's lost or love is lost or something like that i can't remember what it's called now but uh, you can find it on youtube easy enough should have put it in the extras should have kept it in the film disney is not a depressing song keep it in the film it's a great song i don't know how he does it but he popped up in this one nicholas cage's national treasure i love this film i love the way it's shot i love the pacing of the film Nicholas Cage is acting, he really tones it down for this one. He spikes it up a little bit in the sequel, but this is great, this one. Um, treasure hunting and um, American history, and you've got a little, little bit of danger in there, and it's just, it's a great movie. Don't write it off because it's Nicholas Cage, because it's a really good action. It's kind of like an Indiana Jones, sort of modern day version of it, and it's um, treasure hunting at its finest. Great film. Next one up is a remake, and it is Ocean's Eleven. This is probably one of the greatest remakes. Um, you've got George Clooney, Matt Damon, Andy Garcia, Brad Pitt, Julia Roberts. You've got Elliot Gould, Scott Cann, 
um, who was James Cannon's son. Um, he's in Hawaii Five-O. You've got Bernie Mac. You've got Carl Rayner in this. Uh, Casey Affleck. It's just the cast goes on, and it's such a great story. It's one of the best heist movies ever done. Kind of a great shot, kind of grainy, if I recall. But um, nevertheless, what a fantastic film. And you really root for the criminals in this film, which is quite unusual. Brilliant. Okay, so we're on the P's, and this one, Phenomenon. I think this is John Travolta's greatest film and most underrated. A lot. I don't think anybody ever mentions this film, and it's... Again, a tearjerker. You've got a good cast in this too. You've got Robert Duvall, you've got uh, Kira Sedgwick and Forrest Whitaker. And it's just, it's a great film. It really is. John Travolta, sort of, I said, not really a loser, just like a, a simple town man. He's um, drinks in his bar one night, comes out and he gets hit by a flash of light. And then from there on, he has special powers. He can, he has telekinesis. The scene when he's being interviewed by um, Brett Spiner, or Brett Spinner, whatever you want to call it, Data from Star Trek, um, and he's moving the pencil with his mind. It's just amazing. And the questions he's being asked, and the the way he's redirecting it back at the questionnaire. It's it's a great film. Man with superpowers, or is it? It's a love story. It's um, supernatural. Give it a go, that's phenomenal. So now we're on the cues. Now Jamie uh, didn't pick anything from his collection, he picked Quick Change, which was a great Bill Murray film. I wish I would get a, a Blu-ray release. If it did, I would pick that one. But I'm gonna go something from my collection, and this is The Queen. This was set in 1997. I was uh, in Florida when this happened. Um, Princess Diana died, set around that time. Um, I mean, she was alive when I left for Florida and she was dead and buried by the time I got back. It was really surreal. Um, but that's by the by. This has got obviously Helen Mirren. You've got uh, Michael Sheen in this playing uh, Tony Blair brilliantly. And you've got a whole host of other people. But this is just a great look at English royalty and politics of the time. Really nice film. Thoroughly enjoyed that one. And the next one I've heard is based on a comic book, um, which is quite unusual, but it's a great film, Road to Perdition. Again, if this was on any point anywhere in the room, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the rest of it. It's uh, Tom Hanks, brilliant Jude Law, Paul Newman. I think this is one of Paul Newman's late, uh, last films. It's just an amazing film, shot beautifully. I'm just trying to see if there's anybody else in here. Stanley Tucci, uh, Daniel Craig's in this as well. Um, Jennifer Jason Lee. So great cast, absolutely great cast. And it's just, it needs to be watched. The cinematography, where well, you can see from the cover, that's uh, one of the shots in the film. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Road to Perdition. Next one up, now my son asked me when I was doing this, he saw me sorting the films out, and he said, uh, what have you picked for the S's? Um, did you pick Star Wars or Star Trek? Which I love equally. Um, I said, no, I've, got, I've gone for a different film. And this, I think, because this one, it's been in my life a little bit longer and I don't know, it just means a little bit more to me than than the Star Wars and Star Trek. And it's probably gonna offend a lot of people. I love Star Trek and Star Wars. Swiss Family Robinson, I adore this film. Um, I read the book recently and it is as violent as anything. You know, if you're an animal lover, don't read the book. John Mills, very English family cast away on an island. Um, they don't really make the most of it, they make the best of it. They, their house in this, just beautiful, and uh, they see off some questionable pirates in it. Um, it's a great film, very English, as I said, um, just an old classic Disney. Disney at its best, I would say. I probably like these kind of films more than the Disney classics. Love it. And talking of the old Disney classics, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Uh, I could have gone down Terminator route and, you know, Total Recall and all that sort of stuff and They Live and Twins and... But no, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Kirk Douglas, James Mason, um, Peter Law. It's just, it's an amazing film. Been watching this since I was a young kid. Uh, I grew up on these kind of old Disney films. Love them. I was very fortunate that my parents were big Disney lovers and uh, if there was a Disney film at the cinema I went and saw it if it was on TV we all watched it as a family and that's probably why I have the, the love for these old Disney films next one up is Untouchables it's getting dark in here it's uh, Untouchables and it's 
Kevin Costner, Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro playing Al Capone, um, Kevin Costner playing Elliot Ness, and Sean Connery in this is, um, I forget what Sean Connery is, Malone. You've also got Andy Garcia in this, and it's a story of Elliot Ness trying to um, trap Al Capone, and well, unless you know the history of it, I, just watch this, it's great. It is, they get him <laughs> on unusual things. And did you know Al Capone invented the sell by date on, on food? Anyway, um, brilliant. Brilliantly shot the music in this as well. Uh, Brian De Palma film, by the way. Perfection, absolute perfection. Again, if this is on in the room, I'm gonna sit and watch it and nothing better than watching a film like that. Next one up is V for Vendetta. Adore this film. You've got uh, John Hurt in this. You've got Natalie Portman, who at one point gets in a questionable schoolgirl outfit. Um, you've got Hugo Weaving. Stephen Fry is in this. It's just great. It's based on a comic book, and uh, it's set around November 25th. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Excellent. There's not many bonfire films out there, so a bonfire night film, so that's one for the the books next one up is an absolutely amazing blu-ray and uh, it's a film i think it was directed by emilio estevez it stars his father martin sheen and it's the way um, this is a german release um believing it says the way and it's about a young boy or young man which i say um who dies and his father is taking his ashes on like a pilgrimage that his son was planning to do. He never got on, but he decides he's gonna do this for his son and get a bit of closure himself. It's a road movie um, of sorts. Um, it's across um, like mountains and you know footpaths and stuff. Just brilliant. It's, and it's the people that Martin Sheen interacts with on the way as well. It's, uh, it's got James Nesbitt in this and uh, Deborah Unger, Deborah Cara Unger. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's not a fast-paced film. It's just, it's a character-driven movie. That's what I'm going to say. It's just perfection. Next one up is You've Got Mail, Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan. I love this film. Um, emails were just... Sort of, I remember when this film came out, it was, a, it was like a, a new thing. They probably wouldn't use that today. It would be just like, oh, all done on your iPad or iPhone. Uh, it's got Greg Kinnear in, in this as well. It's a great romance film, and... <laughs> It's about two people that really shouldn't be together, but they are. You can't sort of. It's fate. So I'm going to say, just I'm going to say, fate and chemistry. It's a great movie. Um, thoroughly recommend this one. You've got mail, and this one, oddly enough, came with the shop around the corner as well. So that's you've got mail. Great film. X. Now, there's not too many X films out there. You've got all the X Men, you've got Triple X, and probably a few others. But I went for X Men 2. I saw this at the cinema, and it's that opening shot of um, the Nightcrawler, or whatever he calls himself, uh, played by Alan Cummings. Um, the, you can teleport, and he's in the, the White House, and he's taken out the Secret Service. Just a great opening shot. And I really like this one. And you've got the, the female um, Wolverine with the Animantian, like claw fingers nails and stuff it's just a great film i think um love it absolutely love it i don't like uh, i don't dislike any of the x-men films and this is one of the best ones for me next one and the last one is zodiac i love this film this is just so brilliantly written you've got um you've got a cast of, of marvel characters you've got jake jinnin hall uh, who was in the spider-man one you've got uh, robert downey jr and you've got Mar mark ruffalo and a load of other people as well just written to perfection and acted to perfection it's a long film it's 162 minutes but the pacing is just right they've got it just right there's no like action scenes there's, there's a few tense moments in this when he's in the house in um looking through the evidence with the guy who voiced roger rabbit uh all that's really creepy really creepy but it's it's a story of um the police and the paper's relationship trying to identify and stop a serial killer known as the zodiac uh, killer and uh, to this day they don't know who it is but this film really sheds light on it and sort of gives a sort of um an educated guess as to who it was and i believe they, they got it they got it spot on they nailed it um brilliant just brilliant 
and that is it that is the a to z thank you so much for watching i guess now having been watching a few tag videos you have to tag other people so let me think who i mean anybody can do this that's fine if you want to do it then do it but i'm gonna say um i'd like blue ray ben to do it uh, but he's very busy if you do have time i doubt if you have time because current situation um i know you've been really busy and you've probably got a lot of things to catch up on so i'd have said blue ray ben adam from spin 1984 and his multimedia obsession um you got him i'd like you to do that adam um james up in scotland up in bonnie scotland pete's already been called uh this was jamie's one so i can't do him he's already tagged paul uh big paulie so who else um Mike, I get Mike to do it. He's got a big collection, but uh, he's got things going on, so I don't know if Mike can do it either. Movie Edge, I'm talking about there. And um, basically, anybody that wants to do it, the Blue Collector, Carlos, you can do this. Anybody who wants to do it, go for it. I'd really be interested in seeing your films, your favorite films on the A to Z. Okay, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Give it a thumbs up, give it a comment. I'll get back to you. I will. Subscribe if you haven't, it's all free, why wouldn't you? And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Take care.